What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you free easy ways to reset your check engine light. The last way I'm gonna show you is the best way, I highly recommend it, but it costs you, um, I think around $9. I'll leave a link in the video description below. All right, so first thing you do is put on your gloves. You're gonna be working on the battery. You wanna discover the positive terminal and the negative. The positive has the red cap, the negative has the black cap. You wanna get your socket wrench and unscrew the nut counterclockwise and then wiggle off that black connection. That negative uh, connection you want to hold off for about 30 to 60 seconds. That should clear the check engine codes. Now if it doesn't then you want to try the second method. The second method is easy. Just put that negative to the side. Make sure it's not touching the battery. Press and hold the horn. That's going to release some of the stored energy in the car circuit or you could turn on your headlights. That'll also release some of the stored energy in your car circuit. Now if that doesn't work, then what you could do is remove the positive terminal from the battery, connect the jumper from the disconnected negative terminal and the disconnected positive, and hold that jumper on it for about a few seconds, and that would also uh, release some of the stored energy. And I don't really recommend these methods, I highly recommend the next method. And make sure you put everything back together after you remove that jumper. And warning, this will reset your car radio. All right, the best way to check your check engine codes and reset them is using the OBD2 diagnostic tool. It plugs into your OBD2 port under your car. Most cars have it. It works with the Torque app at Google Play Store or if you have the Apple Store, it works. I think that's for the Apple Store too as well. They have their own version. And only thing you have to do is uh, plug it directly here you can leave it plugged in it doesn't kill the battery at all I left it plugged in for weeks on end and it never killed my battery but uh only thing I have to do is just I have the extension and I leave it plugged in and you just plug that extension in right here and then you just plug it into the extension and then I have it velcroed right here on the side just like that and it connects via Bluetooth to your phone. And there's actually real-time monitoring. So what you wanna do is turn on your car. So right here, as you can see, turned on the car. We have the check engine light right there. You wanna go into your app. Click on fault codes. And just tap here. You'll scan the car and it tells you right here. So most um, sc car scanners will tell you the code. It'll be uh, P102, but this actually tells you P102 and it actually tells you mass or volume airflow circuit low input. All right, and it tells you right here as well. So let's go ahead and go to my car under my hood. So of course, there's something wrong with it. It's unplugged because I unplugged it to simulate the check engine light. And so what we're going to do, make sure the car's turned off when you do this. What you do is just plug it in, lock it in, and well, whatever problem you have. It could be a loose gas cap, and that could be it. Maybe if you got to um, tighten your gas cap w when you're at the gas station, that could actually trigger a check engine code, which is common. If that's the case, just go to your car and make sure your gas cap is on tight. So once you get back in your car, you want to make sure this is all plugged in, there's power going to it, and it's communicating to your computer. And let's try it again. And you want to turn on the app, of course, and turn your car back on. Alright, so we still got the check engine code, even though we fixed the issue. And then you want to go back into your... So what you want to do now is you want to go back... So what you want to do is go back into your fault codes right here. And here's all my fault codes. And uh, so this is actually just a record. It's not currently a fault because we actually plugged it back in. You want to click on the menu button right here on the upper right and then clear fault codes. And then click OK. And then as you can see, look, it just it disappeared as soon as we did that and it says completed and that's how you do it now of course if you didn't fix the problem the, you know the check engine light will come back on but you know 
If you know if, if it was a loose gas cap and you tighten your gas cap, it shouldn't come back on. And this is real time monitoring, just to show you. Let me rev my engine. See? Pretty cool stuff. So I highly recommend this device. It's about eight or nine dollars on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get it. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on this link right here. And if you want to check out my car how-to playlist, click on this link right here. And share this video to anyone this video may help. Thanks guys for watching.